here at the 3 m HQ with my good friend Sean Collins to have some fun with their new products because here's the deal guys, you want to save money and you want to cut down on time for repairs. And the thing that 3M does best is come up with new innovations. Now, you all know what this is. This is the air chuck bit. And by the way, Sean, uh, how much for this? That's a brand new $50. Okay, so we're going to show you the difference between what this new product, our belt sander right here, is going to make a difference. The, font, the line belt center, I'm going to put my air on right here. I'm going to show you the average time on both speeds. And you also got to know, you also got to notice, I'm putting my hip in this. And more hip, and more hip. Now, I don't know about you, but I don't want to spend that kind of time drilling out wells. And this is where this new product comes into play. And this is where Sean educates me on this great new deal. Right, and we should mention that you're trying to drill through boron steel, which is ultra-high strength steel. So we came up with a solution, and that's this file belt tool. And the, the, the tool is one thing, but the abrasive is another uh, story. The abrasive is also a very special abrasive. It's made with a special mineral. It's got grinding aids and things of that nature in it to help grind better and lubricate uh, the grinding surface and not blow it up. So you're going to notice uh, it's going to be much easier, require much less pressure. You can kind of let the tool do the work. Um, and it's going to cut much faster through that high strength steel, and it's not going to blow it up. And as you can see, this brand new state of the art cryo cobalt drill did not do very well. Um, you're going to get 30 to 40 welds on the same material with this belt here. And also, not going to get so fatigued. I mean, one of the things that the heavy line guys need to realize that every single day you're grinding on the stuff. And I don't mean grinding just on the metal, I'm talking about your, the, the body, the exertion of energy that you have to put into that. Like I said, I put my hip in it. Let's turn up some air pressure real quick. This runs on a little bit of air pressure. Now just so you know, I was impressed by this, but I want you to see the difference. About the same amount of... And as you can see, I'm all the way through and ready to pin through. That is a difference of about 90% in time, and the effort is, I only have to do is basically just push down on it very slightly, and that's one of the big advantages. Right, you can see it cut very well, and it was easy to do. It really doesn't throw a lot of sparks. Actually, because of its ultra high strength steel, threw more sparks than usual, but with mild steel, you'll see almost no sparks. Now, it's also about using this in different applications. I'm going to grab the air hose and this back for me because, well, I'm going to take one of these home. But it's also about cleaning stuff up when it comes to adhesion and other. <laughs> That's how, cl how clean this can get and how quick. And if you notice, I'll shove this into, this into, the, into the camera. Look at the difference. This is not loading up, and you're going to get a lot of use out of this, and that's a big advantage to a shop. Why don't you give it a try actually dressing or finishing well as well, and I'll show you another uh, belt that's useful. So if you're a technician and you just weld a unicide on a car and there's 150 welds, uh, it's going to be very easy to clean and dress those welds. And you're going to put this, change this belt over. This is a different abrasive. This is a scotch Bright type abrasive. It's a surface conditioning belt. So how easy it is to change these, by the way. It's only the second time you've done it, and you can see it's very easy to, to change over. Line it up. Get ready to go. And I hate to say it, but that's about as clean of a cleanup as you're ever going to find. And the thing that amazes me is the longevity. And the, it, you know, this is basically a scotch bright look, right. looking material, but it's the longevity and use you can get out of this. Right. And again, it doesn't blow it up. It gets very clean. The use for that, it doesn't remove any metal. So uh, you could use that for things like cleaning up gaskets. You could use it for cleaning up adhesives. Uh, a lot of different uses for that as well. Including plastic. Now, this is where it really gets interesting. I'm going to hand this off to you. One of the things that has to come into play is using it on different materials. Now this is great for either heavy, heavy metal or even cleaning up small sheet metal. But the other side of it is, is when it comes down to easy bumper repairs. Now, you have to be able to do everything from a huge, complete paint job down to a simple bumper repair. And I'm going to become 
the human C clamp here to show you just how easy this is. Go ahead, Sean, Brett, walk us through. Right, so normally the way we taper out or bevel this out in order to do an adhesive repair, we use a roll off disc or some kind of grinding wheel, but it just really smears as much as the plastic around and does not cut. It takes a long time to well, it. It really just kind of heats it up and melts it rather than taking the material and getting it out of the way. Right, yeah, exactly. You're just smearing it around, basically. And this is just going to clean it out just because of that unidirection. It's just going to remove that material. Now, so, think about, now, everybody, think about the time it takes to do one of these with the standard tool you might be used to. You're talking about 10, maybe even 12, 15 minutes, depending on how aggressive the bit you use. Watch this. It's amazing stuff. Now listen, if people want more information about this and all the uses of this great new file center, how do they do it? Go to 3mcollision.com. You're on the website. We'll see you in the next video.